angielskie bajanie. The Frog Prince Text by Ewa Wodzicka Tądziło Once upon a time there was a very proud princess. Hello, I'm proud princess Penny. What's your name? Oh, my name? Um, my name is Eva. Nice to meet you, princess. Nice to meet you, Eva. What's that in your hands? Oh, this. It's my favorite toy. Your favorite toy? Is it a doll? Mm-mm. A car? Mm-mm. A yo-yo? Mm, no, it's my golden ball. Your golden ball? How interesting. Well, it's a lovely day for a walk, isn't it, princess? <coughs> oh, princess Penny, wait. Are you okay? Why are you walking so fast? I want to get out of that castle. <sighs> My parents are so annoying. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. Why? Mommy Queen says my room is messy. Huh? <laughs> messy. <laughs> messy. And Daddy King says I must eat broccoli. 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 I don't want to do it. Princess stamped her feet angrily. Oh no. Look out, Princess. Watch your ball. <gasps> But I'm angry. So angry. So, so angry. Splash. Oops. Too late. The golden ball fell out of her hands and straight in the royal pond. Splash. My ball. Oh, no. Where is it? Princess sat down on the green grass and wept. <laughs> and wept. <laughs> and wept a little more. <laughs> Princess Penny, open your eyes. No, how can I get my ball out of the water? Ribbit, ribbit. <gasps> Who is it? Princess Penny opened her eyes, looked around and saw... <gasps> Two bulging eyes staring at her. The frog said with dignity, Let me help you. I can swim quite well. I can get the ball for you. Princess Penny hopped happily. <gasps> can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you really? Yes, if you do something for me. Sure. What is it? Do you want my dresses? My pearls? Or my golden crown? Mm, no, no, no. I want to live in your palace. Eat from your plate. Yum, 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 yum. Drink 
from your cup and sleep on your bed. <gasps> Ribbit. Um, you want to live in my palace? Eat from my plate? Drink from my cup? Mm-hmm. And sleep on my pillow? Mm-hmm. Um, um, sure, why not? Princess Penny. <gasps> Princess Penny, do you really want to do this? Will you keep your promise? <laughs> of course not. I won't. But the frog can't run as fast as I can. I'll just wait for the ball and run away. But princess, it's mean. <laughs> Fiddle the D. I want my golden ball. The frog got the ball for the princess in no time. Uh, uh. Here you are, your golden ball. Now, let's go to the palace. <gasps> no way! <laughs> and Princess Penny ran as fast as she could, never looking back at the frog. The next day, at dinner time, when Princess Penny and her parents were sitting at the table, they heard a funny, splishy, splashy sound. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Daddy King heard it first. What is it? He asked. I don't know, Daddy. Princess Penny did not care. She wanted to finish her meal and go away to play. Suddenly, the queen screamed. Ah, a frog! Ribbit, I beg your pardon, your majesties. May I talk to Princess Penny, please? What does the frog want from you? said the king. Oh, uh, <laughs> dear father, uh, yesterday my golden ball fell into the water. Mm -hmm. And this frog fetched it up again because I cried so much. Mm -hmm. And I promised... He should be my companion. Mm -hmm. I never thought that he could come out of the water. But somehow he just jumped out. And now he wants to come in here. Then the king said, A princess must keep her promises. Princess Penny wanted to cry. But she let the frog sit on the table beside her and offered him soup. <clears throat> soup? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I'm starving. Yummy. <coughs> After dinner, the frog said, Bedtime. Princess, take me upstairs to your room, if you please. Proud Princess Penny looked at her Daddy King and Mommy Queen. <gasps> Do I have to? But her parents just gazed at her. So she took the frog and went away. Mm -hmm -hmm, ribbit, your pillow looks so soft. And cozy, croaked the frog when he saw Princess Penny's room. That was too much for the proud princess. 
She got so upset. She stamped her feet, waved her arms, and screamed, "Ah!" And, uh oh, <gasps> Princess Penny, where is your frog? What? Oh no! Oh no! He fell out of my window. I hope he is okay. And Princess Penny ran down to find her frog. It wasn't easy. Frogs are green, and the grass is green too. But finally, she found him. Oh no! Wake up, Froggy! Open your eyes. I promise you can sleep on my pillow. Then. She hugged the frog really tight, with all her heart, and he turned into a young prince. Oh, thank you, Princess Penny! You saved me with your kindness. <gasps> My kindness? What kindness? I wasn't very kind. But you were really worried. I was hurt now, right? Oh, right. Of course I was. Now can I sleep? Yes, but not on my pillow. I'll find a perfect place for you. And so they went to find a room for Prince Froggy. <laughs> So, Princess, is it all right now? <laughs> yes, yes, Eva, it's all right. I like Prince Froggy so much. So, can you see? Things are not always what they seem. Yes, I can see that. Now, pardon me. I'm going to play my golden ball with Prince Froggy. Bye. So. The frog was an enchanted prince, waiting for someone to like him and break the evil spell. Princess Penny and Prince Froggy became good friends, and who knows, maybe they even fell in love after a while. And proud Princess Penny wasn't so proud anymore. Thank you for listening. Please let me know if you like the story, comment, or give me a thumb up. Bye.